All right, this isn't Glattonsbury Hills, but I wanted to show uh, something I've been dealing with here with GS Pro, and uh, I mistimed some of the text that comes up, so don't bother with that. But when I finish hole number one, and this is after I go to the settings on the main page and set the scoreboard popping up after the round to zero, um, I get a scoreboard that just sits there and doesn't do anything and forces me to relaunch. So the only way I've ever gotten it to work, honestly, in the last, certainly in the last little bit, is to not set it out here on the main menu. When I do that, something happens. And then here, when I did that and went back, I got stuck in this black screen with a little mini map. And this has happened to me a couple times when I've tried to go mess with the settings after the settings have made the course crash. So the scoreboard on the main page, trying to set that to zero, seems to almost have no effect. Um, and in some cases makes everything much, much worse. So what I've had to do, and I'll now walk through it, because I want to play and I want to go over a round here taking up like five to ten minutes of my time so I log in I don't touch the settings I go to match set up everything then I go to settings and the only setting that I'm allowed to touch is the zero scorecard after hole gotta get that to zero save play and then everything seems to be okay but I mean I can't just log in and play I have to go touch that setting or else uh, I'll get a crash and then if I get out of the crash and go in to the settings and go back then I get stuck in this like black thing so I wanted to just get that out there uh, eventually I do get to Fossil Trace Golf Club and eventually I did figure all this out. Um, it was really frustrating me for a while because I was trying to do what I thought would be the right thing and get it set on the global level just in case and then go in and set it in the match or not set it in the match and the, what you gotta do is ignore the global and just set it in the match which is just like really stupid. But. That's where we're at with uh, version 2.0.3.1 now, which um, did not f say it fixed anything about that for me. But still love the game. I'm not that upset now that I've figured it out. I was upset in the moment, and I made a couple videos about it. Uh, and hopefully that will pressure some people to notice um, that that could be an issue for some users. Second hole, par four, and very much to the right under the tree, but another par. 100 yards up the hill now. Looks like a bit of an overdraw and a bit of an overkill. And that ends up in the auto three putt zone, not where you want to be, because that's going to be a bogey. Fossil Trace Golf Club. Let's talk about it really quick. No idea where it is. Looks like it's in like a desert mining colony or something, but um, it actually has some pretty interesting holes and then some good visuals uh, with the power lines and some interesting trees and shrubs. So I was kind of digging it and uh, the round that I was able to put together was not horrible by any means. And we were able to get uh, a few good shots on record here. So let's see what we can do with 83 away. And we can stick it nice and close for a birdie. So even going to the sixth hole. Got a little bit of room out there on the right that we're going to take advantage of and end up about 104 away playing 110 up the hill. Look toey. I don't look happy with it. Oof.
Not sure what that was, but it worked out. Certainly a misread of some sort, or uh, it thought there was like a hill in front of my ball. And so no matter how lifted that shot was, it was going to hit that bank and roll a little bit. This is like an extreme funnel, and I managed to hit it up on the left side where it doesn't funnel down. So on a huge bank now from 54, I remember just trying to like swing left, swing left, swing left. And I did get it over to the left on a big bank, but it didn't do me much good. And we're off to the next. You can see how this coal's kind of interesting. It looks like a lightning bolt almost with uh, some really deep bunkers in the fairway kind of guarding everything. I thought that was a pretty cool layout uh, on some of these holes. So fossil trace, very cool, very cool course. So a 97 yarder here. Thought that was gonna draw, but it just ends up being a push. There's some green over there though, so take a par and move on to the next ninth hole par five we got like a electric fence and a colony or a prison or something over there to the left that's exactly what you want to see probably the shortest drive in history and we're still super far away now trying to hit a hybrid and just get us somewhat closer we're gonna end up in the rough not a good swing there one four eight from the rough Sit even par ninth hole fossil trace tight draw good angle of attack and 30 yards short automatic bogey here we got two seven seven and off the tee, we're going three wood into the water. I grabbed three wood because I thought this will be the safer choice. Got to take a drop and hit something from 62 away. It's not going to check up in time. And that's going to be another bogey. So plus two all of a sudden after a really good front nine and 121 remaining on the 11th par 3 a little bit downhill it says it's uphill it looks downhill and that's going to be an overdraw and we get no kick to the right and now we're left with a tough chip and it works out okay Par there, par 5, 12th coming up, 4, 9, 9. Let's see what we can do here. All out of bounds left. Crazy green up there, guarded by like Stonehenge or something. Big kick out to the right, and it's. It might be within range. Looks like I'm going to give it a go. And this ends up being the wrong choice as it goes behind Stonehenge and blocks me out. So because it's a par 5, I just go ahead and turn around and aim the other way. I thought for a minute I can get a 60 degree over that, but I ended up being wiser. Hitting it backwards and leaving about an 85 yarder in. Which I was literally like a yard away from getting away with this whole plan. And that turns into a double bogey pretty quick. So uh, I get kind of punished for that strategy. Should have just kind of went with the flop over. Might have worked out. That looked like good contact there. Yeah, 2300 spin is what I need to bottle up every day. 
That would be nice. 50 yards remaining. <coughs> if you saw, I caught that ball and made a birdie. So I should get double points. It hit off the back rail in the sim and, and flew back at me, which it wasn't coming super fast, but I did catch it and I made the birdie. So we are at plus three. Chopped a sh shot off the score there. You don't want to end up 40 yards short on par threes, though, and then hit them 10 yards past the hole. So we're going to give that bogey right back. Four seven two, another par five. Really interesting hole here. I like that shot shape, but um, didn't quite get the ball speed that I would have thought of. Really good three wood there, leaving 24 from the rough. And that's brutal. That's brutal. That happens to me way too often. One inch from a birdie. Mm. And then getting rejected by the side of the hill on the next hole. And ending up really down in the rough, having to hit a huge flop shot, which worked out really well. Look at that, 51.4 degrees up. That's what I'm talking about. Dead straight drive. On 17, we're still sitting at plus four going to 17, so we got to be thinking uh, we can put this one close and move to 18. This one looks like 77, and that one goes an inch inside the circle for the first time in D Lud Hobby's history. We are blessed with a birdie by an inch instead of rejected. Par 5 with water everywhere on the 18th, just begging you to go for it. 220 remaining, and what do I do? Of course I go for it. Why not? I want to aim left, I want to hit it good. I hit it really good, 132 ball. I end up in the little snake bunker. I don't think I would have had the distance to get there, but I definitely would have covered the water, so good to know. Do I have 30 left for a birdie? Oh yeah, we take care of 17 and 18 and get it back to a plus 2, 74. A really good score there around Fossil Trace, which I thought was a really cool, unique course. We haven't played one quite like that uh, in the couple hundred I've played on GS Pro so far, so... Like, subscribe, you know the drill, and we'll be back with more courses soon.